Welcome back to your Friday edition of your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso. And we're about to take a rather emotional turn now and somewhat bittersweet, but with an incredibly good cause. Now, we can't believe that it has been 10 years since the tragic passing of musical icon Talib Peterson. Now, the award-winning singer, composer and director is paid tribute through a concert held in his honour with artists including those who have worked with him throughout his incredible career, as well as some family members and some of his children. Now, join us here this morning, guys. Mm. Awesome to connect hey, with you. Um, what a family. What a family. Ah, I love yeah. this. So, hey, let's start with you. Um, a decade since your father's passing. This has got to bring back a lot of very bittersweet memories yes. as well. How are you feeling about the, the concert and, and 10 years down the line about your father's legacy? Yeah, as we say um, that in 10 years, it sounds like a lot, but to us it doesn't actually seem because sure. I think the first five years was such a blur. Um, so. And we, we, when we reflect on the fact that it's been 10 years, it's almost somewhat surreal to us. Um, but it has been 10 years and so much has changed and so much has happened in that 10 years. And to celebrate his legacy in this way for us is incredibly special because to us he was just dad. Yeah. Um, and we get to celebrate dad. But to the rest of the country and the rest of the world who knew him as this icon, uh, we celebrate his music and that's what, what everyone else got to appreciate him and know him for. And of course you've grown up. You've grown yeah. up in 10 years, <laughs> yes. guys. Um, I'm sure let's um, connect with you now. Um, you've done a tribute show before, um, Like Father, Like Son, which yes. I, I would imagine would have been, being a guy, would have been really, really special. How does this experience compare to that? I think this, uh, uh, moving from the backstage theater to the Grand Arena, I think it's a pretty, pretty big step from venues. <laughs> uh, uh, Feeling the pressure now. Yeah, yeah. I, I am, I'm, I'm actually most stressed. A lot of people ask me, ask me am I excited or, or am I nervous? I'm, I'm actually most stressed because I'm the guy behind the scenes sure. than being a performer on the show. So I have to see that everything gets taken away care of. But the nice thing is that I have a team with me, which I have a director, Basil Apollos, musical director, Camillo Lombard, and then I'm all star team, yeah. Literally an all star team because Imo Adams is Company's name is All Star Productions. Oh, cool, man. <laughs> and he's the executive producer. So, yeah, yeah. I, I was so with Imo yesterday, man. I love the guy. Absolutely love him. Yeah, so it's, it's, uh, it's pretty exciting to be doing this then, the, because it's not me alone anymore on the show. It's people that have celebrated his music and his legacy. I'm That's so glad. That he's celebrating his music. I'm glad you raised that, Aisha. Do you appreciate your father's legacy more now? Do you understand him as a man through the artists that he connected to, through the music that he made now, going through this process? Yeah, absolutely. The thing is um, that I obviously just know him as as dad, but everything everyone else sees him in a in a different light. But when you speak to people and they speak about him, this, this amazing, remarkable legend, it makes me feel so proud to say that I am 50% this man. Mm. So it is an amazing, amazing feeling. And to th this feeling of just immense pride, like this, that's my dad. It's the best yeah, feeling yeah, in man. the world. I warned you about making me cry. Oh, Already the, the hairs on my arm are like, oh, slow man. down, girl, slow down. Um, Fatima, I think this, there's a deeper underpinning here as well because of his connection to the South African narrative, to the South African music. Yeah. I understand that there is a, a museum being launched through this process as well. Talk to me about that. About the museum? Yeah. Um, I'm not sure about that museum. <laughs> <laughs> that is news to me. <laughs> well, that's fantastic, yeah. and what a way to honour him. But um, yeah. I think in that, in that sense, have you, have you discovered more about the South African narrative through this process, through the, discovering more about his music? Um, I was a lot younger um, when my dad released things like shows like Guma. And um, I was about 12 at the time. And now when I watch it, it's, it's astounding how much research went into this. And I thought my dad just wrote it down and, <laughs> you know, um, but it had such meaning to it um, and I appreciate it more and I learn more about my culture and where I come from um, and our roots through his music um, and in that it keeps us grounded because we know where we come from and my father made sure that we always stay that way 
I love it. You are growing into such beautiful human beings. Oh, thank thank you, you so much. much. You are continuing that legacy. Thank you, so um, thank you so much. Get down to the Grand Arena. Tickets available at Computer and no, all stuff. No, sold out. Sold out. Yes. Oh, no, man. <laughs> Sorry for you. Let the FOMO kick in as we continue to remember an absolute musical icon for South Africa.